Haunting of Braywood Manor, Chapter 2, Out of Time. Hmm, chills. Like, literally chills, I'm, I'm cold. It's taking too long. You watch with your heart in your jaw as the bedroom door creaks open. To reveal a young woman dressed in the fashions of a bygone era, her dark eyes fixed on you. Don't be afraid, Anna. I don't mean any, you any harm. Who? Who are you? My name is Eleanor Worley. Welcome to Braymore Manor. I have, I have a bad British accent. You're... You're Eleanor Worley? As in that Eleanor Worley? I'm afraid so. You must have at least a hundred questions right now. Yeah, you can say that. And I'll do my best to answer them. But I ask that you be patient with me. There's still so much I don't understand about this place. This existence. Where am I? What are you? How did I get here? What are you? You kind will call me a ghost. And I suppose that's what I am. But I don't feel like a ghost. What do you feel like then? I feel the same as I did in life, except it feels like something's missing or like I've taken a wrong turn. I f feel lost, forgotten. Um, I want to ask you more questions. I don't really care. Where am I? Where am I, of course. I, I knew that. Okay, then when am I? That's an altogether more difficult question. I know that in your world this has a shadow of his former self. My world? So, we're somewhere else? I don't know, Anna. I come to think of this place as a memory. The rest of the world kept just moving and we just stay the same. How did I get here? Ah, uh, about that. I mean, it seemed my little brother Simon gave you a scare and you fell and bumped your head. I carried you upstairs and put you to bed, if you don't mind. Um, not at all, I guess. You carried me? Yes, I did. Yes, I just said that. Are you feeling alright? I think so. I just didn't expect that, I guess. I'm not as fresh as I look, Hannah. Now it's my turn to ask you a few questions. Okay. To start with, why are you here? I just got lost. Oh, I want to learn more about life from them. I'm, 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 I was hiking and got lost. Like, oh, so cold. You're hiking. I find that hard to believe. Why? For one thing, your shoes are remarkably clean. Remarkably clean. You look at the, your spotless shoes beside the bed and feel a pain of guilt. Okay, I wasn't hiking. I came in for more information. I need to learn everything I can about ghosts. So you're not afraid to be here? You wanted to meet me? Well, I won't pretend that this isn't a bit unusual. But yes, I want to come here. I want to meet you and your siblings. Why, Mother X? We got across the ground of Rainbow Manor and suppressed a shiver. It's... It's complicated. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. As you peer through the frosted glass of the window, you notice a dark shape standing amidst the trees on the edge of the property. Oh, what's that flash? Stop it. Here you go, blind. Trenton! Your brother's ghost melts into the trees, leaving you out of a bear. Out at a bear. Leaving you looking out at a bear expanse of white snow. Eleanor moves to stand beside you and she lays her hand on your shoulder. I think I understand. You were haunted. Before you see, you've ever set foot in this place. Um, uh, this is why I need to learn more about you, about your world. Otherwise, I'll never be able to help my brother. Just let me stay here, please. I, I promise I won't cause you any trouble. The frown creases on her eyebrows, and then she smiles slightly. Come with me. Yay. Where are we going? Don't act. I'm giving you a grand tour, of course. After all, if you're gonna stay here, you might as well get to know the house more. Yay! That was terrible. You heard to keep up with Eleanor, she's dry that into the hall. So, you're letting me stay? 
Of course, we never get any visitors anymore, and it will be nice to have company. You fall all the way out into the second floor landing of the grand foyer, gasping at the sight of the familiar room restored to its former glory. Oh boy. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. It's so not. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What was it like going up here? I didn't go up here. Well, not entirely. We left England when I was 15. I'm 15. Oh no, I'm not. That must have been hard. I'm 16. So certainly drew more than my fair share of tantrums, but I came to like it here in my own way. So I would have liked to see England again before. I don't know if off with her away from me with continuing on the staircase. Well, let's not talk about it. I'm sorry. No, be it. It's not your fault. Ah! Just then you hear a sudden crash and someone out downstairs. What was that? And it looks pain for a moment that her expression resolves into a tired smile. Nothing you need to worry about. Mm mm, tell me. And if you say so, when can I meet the rest of your family? Very soon, but there's something you should know. What's that? Unlike myself, my siblings aren't aware that they're. that they're what? Dead. What? But. How come you know? I. I'd rather not say, uh, I'm sorry, Anna. It's just too painful. Stop making me ask all these questions. Why am I do? How can you ask such a thing? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be close with you. You can't possibly imagine what it's like to live with the knowledge that you're not really living at all. Trust me, Anna. Illness is bliss. I wouldn't dream of taking that away from my siblings. You're welcome to stay, but don't say anything to the children that will accept them. Don't tell them where you're from or what the world is beyond these walls. Just be, let the children be children, Anna. That's all I ask. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I won't say anything, I promise. Oh, need an explanation for who you are and why you're here. I know. I'll introduce you as the new governess. Do you have any experience as such? Uh. I did some babysitting in high school. Perfect. It won't be difficult, you see. Sam is the only one who really needs watching. Clarissa and Tom is all enough to look after themselves. Those are the siblings. Y yes. Yes. They're 14 and 12, but wait, Simon is only 12, 8. Oh, and your father, if you're ready to meet him. Although, it would be better if you wore something else. What's wrong with I'm wearing? Nothing at all. It's very pretty. But it's well, and I want to stay. Wait, did you say that was pretty? And the blushes are delicate pink. I said your clothes are pretty. I didn't say. So, you don't think I'm pretty? Huh? Rude. I didn't say that. Sorry, it's been, it's just been ages since. Since what? A small smile tugged at the corner of Ellen's lips as she realizes she makes fun of her. First blush, and you wish it, but Eleanor has a proof. What? What? Never mind, let's find you something more suitable. Um, the diamonds, and I'm not using them. I have this whole book, I don't think. You follow Eleanor back upstairs to another bedroom. She goes to the wardrobe and starts searching through dresses. I should have a dress you can wear. You're about the same size as well. She pulls out a dark purple gown with elegant white collar and holds up to you. This ought to fit you, <clears throat> this ought to fit you nicely. I'll give you some privacy while you try it on. No, I believe. What is this? What is this? Stitch out of the proof. What is this? Oh. Oh. Stitch this out of the proof. What is this? Oh. Ah. Now I'll come back in to check on you, stopping sure when she sees you in your normal clothes. Why aren't you wearing the dress I found for you? I felt weird wearing it. Would it be okay if I just thought what I have on? I suppose we just have to say people like that dress some people dress like that from where they're from. Thanks, Eleanor. Of course. Are you ready to meet the children? No, I don't like kids. Y yeah, I think I am. No, I don't like kids. Lead the way. I, I don't like kids. I really, I really don't like kids. I like real life. <laughs> I'm gonna lead you back downstairs to the parlor where the 
three younger wave each sibling set, especially. You recognize Simon, the boy from the night before, and he averts his eyes sheepishly when you meet his gaze. Children, this is. We know who she is. She's just like Simon said she would be. Didn't I say her clothes are odd? Simon, don't be rude. Thomas narrows his eyes suspiciously at you. They are odd, though. Who are you exactly? This is Hannah. She's a new governess, and I expect you to treat her with the utmost respect. Thomas looks outraged. Governess? I don't need a governess. I'm almost as old as she is. Besides, you already take care of us, Eleanor. Are you going to give me a chance? Don't worry, I'm not saying long. You're not, but... Eleanor flashes you an annoyed look. I'm sorry. Hannah will only be with us for a short while before she has to get back home. Glad to hear it. Thomas, please forgive my brother, of course, man Hannah. I, for one, am very excited to have another lady to talk to. What does that make me? Uh, I'm more like a mother. I know the size, Hillary. Wonderful. You can see why I need a break, Hannah. Yeah, these kids look really like a handful. They can't be, but they grow on you eventually. The kids. Uh, we're right here, you know. Oh, we know. In any case, it's about time you do to bed. Oh, Eleanor, can we sleep a little longer? Eleanor laughs at a stern look, giving way to a smile. I suppose that'll be alright. Just this one, though. Hannah, would you help me fix the children some hot cider before bed? No. Can I ask them? Of course. Can I ask them? Answer my question. Ow. A short while later, you and Eleanor bring cups of hot cider out for the children. Where's mine? Yay, thank you, Miss Hannah. I appreciate that boy. Can't get me. Just hand this for fine, Simon. You had a couple sided to Thomas. Thank you. Was well, that a thank you? I heard out of Thomas. What a rare treat. <laughs> I don't know. Why do we never have cocoa in the evenings anymore? Like we used to. Then it turns away her face. Her eyes suddenly shed. Um, it's just been getting harder to get these days. Oh, that's too bad. I used to love mother, mother and father would let us stay up late. And yes, well, let's not talk about that, shall we? Okay. Sorry, Elena. That's quite all right. Hannah, I can put the children to bed if you like to get some rest. I know you had an eventful day. Sure, okay. Should I stay in the same room upstairs? Of course. I'll help you find your way back. Oh, 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 are you gonna help me? Did I ask for help? Oh, thank you. I don't know these you out of the parlor and back there for you. Her voice dropped into a whisper. This one more things to tell you about being my mother. What's that? Whatever you think you hear, never leave your room after dark. Do you understand? Okay, don't leave it. I thought I got it. I'm glad we understand each other. Yeah, me too. Good night, Hannah. Good night. A short while later, you tuck yourself in bed and lie in the dark, thinking hard. I don't like this bed. I lose my mind. Or is it all? Is all this really happening? And I gotta get Eleanor to tell me what, why she and her siblings are trapped, all trapped here. I suppose I have to earn her trust first, but make sure not to break any of her rules. As you lie there in the darkness, you suddenly start out to your rear, rear, by giving you sound. Someone crying. You stand your ears and catch the sound again. A low, oh, a low mournful wail that seems to echo through the hall. Okay, just get so good now. Ah, so, I don't know ah, stop it. You get out of bed and head to it before I back in the door. I don't have to leave my room after dark. But if someone's in trouble, what should I do? To the keyhole first. Go into the hall, to the keyhole first, and stop with the sh the, the, the effects, dang. You know, down to peer through the keyhole, seeing nothing but the empty hallway beyond. Was that like the closest clear? And I was making that sound, it's only getting louder. Did you not? That's it, I'm going out there. No, it's. Oh, stop at the book. You step out into the hall, shutting the door softly behind you. You follow the sound through the manners, twisting all down the stairs of the foyer and deeper into the house than you thought possible. I'll just leave. Just how 
happy is this place. Uh, she come to a long hallway and in a solitary door. My door covered in rusty locks and bound up by iron. What the? Do not enter. Go, uh, go, go away, man. You draw close to the door's time worn wood and hear the sounds of weeping beyond. Sorry. The noise does sound less like weeping and more like a blunt, deep cries of wounded beast. What if making that sound? It's just past this door. Hello, is anyone in there? This all was quiet, followed by a sick sounds that feels like all the air is sucked out of the room. Ah, uh, can you stop? This doesn't look like nothing. The door suddenly starts shaking. Fire explodes from the door frame. Oh no. You jump back, and you slid up your arm and yank down your wrist. It's just funny. Oh. Uh, um. No, it's not. I lied. Uh. Bye.